She paid five bucks for this at an estate sale and took a best offer of $2,000. Ah! All right, here's another one. She is like a plush bolo finder. My goodness. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about the best December bolos. A bolo is an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These come from my Facebook group members and my Bolo Buddies YouTube members. Um, I posted this in my Facebook group, which looks like this, and this is my Facebook group. So if you're not in it, definitely go join it. And anyone is welcome to participate in this um, collab, we'll call it. So we're gonna get started here with some big money bolos, items as resellers that we need to be looking for. So the first item, 1987 Ventures, and she is a Bolo Buddies member. And that is her YouTube channel. And she said, this is one of the many items from one of my, one of our many private vintage toy picks. So approximately one to $2 into it. It sold for full asking plus shipping on Mercari within about a week. Also $10 more than what I had it cross listed on eBay for. So she had it on eBay and Mercari and it sold for more on Mercari. And it happens you guys for sure. This is a South Park beef cake Cartman action figure, and she sold this for $65 plus shipping. The next item she sold is, she said this was thrown in a box under a shelf of hats and gloves at a church thrift store. They had a sale going on that week before Christmas. Fill a paper bag for $5. I threw this in there and the bag was packed full of dolls, vintage gloves, clothing, and other stuff. So paid 50 cents, listed it high at 75 and took an offer in a few days for $50 plus shipping. It's a vintage Mack truck bulldog hood ornament. And this is what it looks like. And this is the next one for Tracy. Um, when I say they're a Bolo Buddies YouTube member, that means that they have joined Bolo Buddies memberships on my YouTube channel, level two, to get perks, which means they get a mention in this video and a link, a clickable link down in the description of the video. So you guys make sure that you go and follow these YouTube channels, check out their eBay stores. It's all linked down below. All right, so she said, got this at a thrift store for 50 cents, had it listed for almost a year. It sold at full asking price plus shipping minus 10% off sale we were running. It is a John Burke's book of old time fiddler tunes uh, for Banjo Amsco with record. And this is what it looks like. The next one, I bought both of these at the same estate sale for $10 a bottle. I knew eBay is cracking down on fragrances, so I tried to only buy ones with the box. One sold for $102 and the other for $64. Yes, if it is not new in the package, from what I have been told, you are not allowed to list it. Here is a full video on what I found out about listing perfume on eBay. I will try to remember to link it down below, um, but if not, you guys can search Bolo Buddies for that. So um, it has to be new. So she sold this Lauder for Men cologne in the box for $64 and this Chaps Ralph Lauren natural spray cologne for $102. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, somebody said that they're supposed to be new with the original box. I used to sell tons of vintage perfumes, but I don't dare anymore. eBay sellers are getting a three-day suspension without a warning. Yes. And I talk about that in the video. And she said, yes, I know. One of these had some volume loss, but both had original boxes. So I decided to gamble. That's what she said. So sometimes with perfume, there can be some evaporation, but I'm going to say if it shows that it is not completely full to the top and you're not 100% sure that it is brand new, that I would not risk it. But um, that is me and everybody can do what they want to do. Um, but watch the perfume video. Okay. I picked these uh, vintage 1950s made in Japan Santa mugs at the Goodwill for 79 cents each. I had seen lots of vintage Santa mugs all over Instagram this season. So I knew 
I do okay on them. I had them at $99 and got lots of offers, but none were great. Dropped the price down to $84.99 and accepted a best offer of $75. Bought and sold within a week. I think I could have gotten more, but I knew with Christmas approaching, I wanted to get them out quick. I bought seven and sold six. The last one was a little cracked, so he gets to stay here. So she kept one of them for herself. And this is what it looks like. They are Santa mugs. I'll always, always pick them up. Um, even if the paint is not perfect, I have done well with those. I mean, a lot of times if there's little paint chips and missing paint, they're not going to sell for as much, but you're still going to be able to sell them for a profit. This one comes from The Rebel Reseller. And oh my goodness, you guys. She said... This is one of her best sales ever on eBay. And if you guys are not following the Rebel Reseller, why not? She's incredible. This is her YouTube channel right here. She paid five bucks for this at an estate sale and took a best offer of $2,000. Ah, so exciting, right? It is an OrCam My Eye 2.0 Smart Digital Assistive Reading Device Visually Impaired. Don't know what it does, don't know what it's for, but um, that's what she sold it for. Wow. Somebody put, wow. <laughs> okay, got in a lot of records on YouTube. Cost of lot was 32 for four records, so less than 10 bucks. Sold in a couple weeks on eBay for $55.75 plus shipping. It had been in my money pile for six months. How many people have a money pile that you go to sometimes and you list things and then they sell immediately and you're like, why didn't I list that sooner? Guilty. Um, however, I am taking some of that big money pile to whatnot. So if you're not following me on whatnot, shameless plug right now, go down into the description and follow me on whatnot because I'm going to be bringing all kinds of crazy stuff. All right. This one comes from Mom Knows Treasures. This is her YouTube channel and it is a G.I. Joe Peter Pan Records something. It's some sort of record, but this is what it looks like. And um, Mom Knows Treasures has a YouTube channel and she does talk about records over there. She sells a lot of records and she does really well with them. Me, I'm like, nope, I don't want anything to do with records. It's not my thing. Other people are like, I love records. I love records. And that is what is so fantastic about eBay and selling on multiple platforms is you can sell whatever you want. And because she specializes in that, she's going to get those sales. I'm not going to get them because I won't list them because I don't know how. I don't want to test them. I don't know how. I just, I'm no good at it. So um, specializing in certain categories definitely will help you, um, you know, get those extra sales that maybe people are afraid to list in. Like, I don't like furniture. I don't want to do big stuff. So I'm losing out on those sales. So if you specialize in something that's a little bit different than maybe someone else, let me know what that is down in the comments. But definitely go over and check out her YouTube channel. And she doesn't just sell records. She is sells everything. But um, she's just really good at records. She likes it. Bought for $1.99 each at local thrift store. Sold for a best offer of $125 plus. 141 shipping. Whoa, that's expensive shipping. Used pirate ship and saved a bunch on shipping. These were extra tall, so USPS was crazy high. So I don't know if you guys know, but pirate ship has incorporated UPS into their um, equation now. It used to be USPS only, so you can get UPS rates over there. And it is an Anna Lee dolls from the 1970s. They are 28 inches tall. They're giant standing Santa and Mrs. Claus. $1.99 each? Wow, that's fantastic. Bought a box of books at our Salvation Army. Was $5 for a large box full. I made four lots of books. This lot, I took a best offer of $45. I had already sold one for $70 and two more lots to sell. And it says vintage science fiction sci-fi paperback books, various authors. So basically what she did is she got a whole big box of books and she parted them into smaller lots to make more money. And I do that a lot with books as well. Like I don't do single books, but if I can find multiple books by the same author or the same subject, I will lot them up. And I will tell you that books do well for me over on Mercari. If you're not selling on Mercari, I do have a referral link down below. You'll get $10 if you join with that link and that's to shop. But if you sell $100 worth of stuff, they give you another 20 bucks to shop. So really, really generous offer from Mercari there. And um, I was just doing my Mercari What Sold, pulling up tabs for it because I'm going to record that video tonight. And if you sell toys, 
you have definitely got to get on Mercari because, oh my goodness, they just sell. They just do. So, but I love toys. So they sell on eBay also, but okay. I bought three of these Fenton bird Christmas ornaments for $3 each at a garage sale this past summer. This one sold for $56.99 and this comes from eBay store, both the great and the small. And it is a Fenton woodpecker ornament, snowflake hand painted and signed. And this is what it looks like. 12 days of Christmas winterberry small plates. These were stored in a mixing bowl on the shelf. I saw them when I was getting rid of stuff. One has a chip, but the rest are okay. Sold on Mercari the first time at the promoted price of $94, but the label pounds were wrong. So I canceled the sale and adjusted the price with the right label. She would pay the same total. The lady never got back to me. After a week, I put it back up and it sold for the original price of $99.99 and the adjusted shipping. I paid 79 cents each at the Goodwill maybe four years ago. But this is what um, her eBay store looks like. I'll have to see if I can find the Mercari. And she is a Bolo Buddies member. So these are uh, Falsgroff, I think is how you say it. Ooh, I don't know. Winterberry, 12 Days of Christmas, decorative plates. All right, let's go on to the next one. Oh, I love this one. Um, this was 99 cents. Found at a thrift store. Forgot I had it. Listed it on eBay, which automatically lists on Bonanza. Sold in four days. Bonanza, yeah, here we go. Bonanza store is Ray Nathan RZ09. And she sold this for $41.57. It is a SpongeBob Squidward Thai Beanie Baby plush. It's a Beanie Baby. A Beanie Baby. Uh, 41's 57 on Bonanza. Okay. Got these in a fill a bag. Oh, in a bag for $2.99. It also included beds and furniture, which I didn't list yet. I also have another listing for a bunny with a bassinet. Sold on Mercari. Picked this up because I watched Bolo Buddy's YouTube channel. Oh, thank you. Um, Mercari sold these for $37. And they are calico critters. And I talk about these all the time. If you can find the vintage ones, they definitely sell for more. There are um, critters that look similar that are called woodsies. I think those are sold at Target maybe. But those will sell also. But if you can get the vintage calico critters, some of them are really hard to find and will bring in a nice profit. So $37 on those. All right, she said, Abby did it again. She said, but mom totally messed up. I'll explain more in a second. So Abby's my daughter who's nine and has a talent for finding a Bolo plush. And she just recently started a YouTube channel and it's called The Merchants, Mary Garcia. And I'm gonna pop it up right here and link it down below. Her daughter is thrifting with her and you gotta check out some of her videos because it's really cool. They go into the thrift store together and anyway. So, um... Remember the Sesame Street Grudgetta plush she flipped a while back? The kid brings in good money sourcing from the Goodwill bins. She's even found a glassy baby in the Goodwill bins before. Huh? Uh, glassy baby's a big bolo. Well, here's her latest big money bolo. A limited edition 25th anniversary Karapi from Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear. She sourced at the bins for maybe a dollar. He was pretty dirty, but nothing a little OxyClean couldn't fix. She cleaned him. She took the pictures she looked up comps. She listed based off of sold similar and it sold in a week. And she is nine years old, you guys. How cool is that? But here's the kicker. She said, mom put her store on sale and had a 10% off coupon going. I will exclude items from store sales that are the kids unless they say it's okay. And somehow this got included. Poor kid kept declining lowball offers all week knowing that Build-A-Bear goes for 140 plus. She said she wasn't going to go lower than 100. So now mom is out 20 bucks to make up the difference because of my mistake. I'll gladly pay the price to help her fe feel financial freedom at nine years old. Okay, so it is a Build-A-Bear. This is what it looks like. I've never seen this guy. It's fantastic. And um, she... Uh, basically owes her daughter 20 bucks. How funny is that? That's such a cute story. Thanks for sharing. Okay. This one comes from Leo's Treasures. Uh, this is her eBay store. She does not have a YouTube channel. She said, I purchased this G ugh, Debrett Prosperity Santa, about five inches tall, at an estate sale on half price day for $2.50. He sold for a best offer of $50 and the buyer paid shipping. And this is what he looks like. Here's another one. 
I purchased this box of Vintage Cross Mechanical Pencil Replacement Lead for two bucks at an estate sale. It's just the lead. It was missing two of the original tubes of lead. Sold it for $54.96 and the buyer paid shipping. Yeah, vintage, vintage, vintage. Pens, pencils, lead, erasers, you name it. Arts and crafts, bam. And here is her third one. I purchased this new in the box Kiss Rock Band ornament at a thrift store for $1.50. I sold it for best offer of $44.44 and the buyer paid shipping. It's a Kurt Adler Kiss, the Kiss Band um, from 2011 ornament. This one comes from Bola Buddies member Piece of Scrap, and this is her YouTube channel. Definitely sub her up. She is a new member, and she says, here's one more along the clothing theme. Paid $8 at the Goodwill, accepted a best offer of $131 on eBay. They are UGG Australia Classic Tall Amelia, Amelia, um, Emil? I don't know. They're boots. Size 9 boots. There you go. Best offer of $131. All right, this one comes from Cat Feelin' Thrifty, and it's a pair of, ooh, Ystad metal candle holders, Sweden brass adjustable, very rare. She said that she bought them at a yard sale for $6 and took a best offer of $62.50, and this is what they look like, and she is Cat Feelin' Thrifty on YouTube. I'm sorry, on eBay, but she's talking about being on YouTube. And if you missed my latest, this is my bolo video where all of my members come together and share a big money bolo, but it's them talking to you instead of me, definitely go check that out because she actually did a video and I'm super excited about it. This one come, come this one come comes, this one come comes from the Chaching King, Scott. Scott has a bolo for us. Um, he said, this is a Radco cookie jar. Sadly, Santa had a badly broken arm that had previously been poorly repaired. I paid 10, it sold for 265 plus 40 shipping. Unbroken, it would have sold for $1,000, but he still sold it for 265 broken. You gotta love that, right? Oh my goodness, look at that. That would not be fun to ship with like all those antlers. You guys know I love to ship break goals. No, no, kidding. Okay, this was a 1930s quilt topper, literally one of the coolest handmade quilt toppers I have ever seen. I was able to provide a little provenance with it. It sold for a best offer of 375 plus shipping. I paid 15 for it a private pick. It was listed 10 months. So he priced it really high at almost $800, took a best offer of 375. So with rare and unique items, one of a kind, you can go ahead and price the item really high. I do that all the time. But if that offer comes along and maybe it's been sitting for a little while, you have to decide what do I have in it and do I want to take the offer? And in this case, he said, I'm going to take the offer. So $375. So that was a great investment. All right, this one's a little bit hard to see. This is a bundle sale, but I still think it qualifies as a bolo. This is all hunting clothing. It was purchased in an auction when a company called Six Sight went out of business in 2020. Melody and I bought 600 plus pieces for $1,800. This sale includes six pieces for a total of 325 plus shipping, about 50 per piece. We've sold over 400 pieces in the last two years for a gross of $15,000 to $20,000. Cha-Ching King is a bolo finder, and he also, over on his channel, does a lot of videos for beginners. And it's really funny because there's so many videos out there that teach for beginners, but for some reason, his are hitting the algorithm, probably because they're really good. So go check out Cha-Ching King, especially if you're new, but if you want to learn about big money bolos, he's also got those as well. So a wide variety of videos. Here is the picture. It's kind of hard to see, but I've never heard of Six Sight. So it's S-I-X-S-I-T-E, all one word. And uh, it was a clothing bundle. So, hi, Courtney. I am a new member. My eBay store is Palm Beach Vintage Hunter. I started selling on eBay in mid-January of this year. I have a couple of items to share. I found an FAO Schwartz Wolf plush at a local thrift store. And I recently talked about realistic plush in one of my videos. Um... She said I paid a dollar for it. I saw that this particular wolf was very rare and none were currently listed. I listed it for $445 and had multiple offers overnight. I took an offer of $395. She paid $1 
and turned it into 395. <gasps> that is crazy. All right. So this is what it looks like right here. Wow. That's fantastic. Palm Beach Vintage Hunter. Nice score. All right. Here's another one. She is like a plush bolo finder. My goodness. All right. She said, I found this Annalie reindeer at a Salvation Army family store. It was pretty rough and very old. I did pay up a little for it since I knew it was original. She paid $12 for it. She sounds like me. I paid up. I paid $12 for it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so cheap. I'm like, if it's not a dollar, I don't want it. No, I'm kidding. Okay, kind of. I do like to source cheap. But anyway, I couldn't find anything on this one or even anything similar. I just took a guess and listed it at $385. It took about a week to get an offer for $250 and I took it. And that was Palm Beach Vintage Hunter again. It's fantastic not oh this is mine i'm like that sounds like something i would say i put not my biggest bolo but i had someone ask me to do ornaments with ask me if ornaments with dates sell and the answer is yes this one came out of a thrift store mystery box sold after christmas so it could have been someone who was taking down their tree and they broke it and they needed a replacement um this is one of those i mean it's from 1995 and it was after Christmas that it sold. So that is the only thing that logically makes sense in my mind. Um, and I love having things that people need. That is why I like to really list like old toys and vintage items, ornaments that have dates on them because someone is looking for it. Somebody ordered a, um, a plush lovey off of me the other day and I put it up for auction for $44.99 and it only had one bid. But I imagine this person would have paid like $600 for this thing, okay? Um, but she won it for $44.99. And she sent me a picture when she got it of the new one next to the other two that had been just like so loved on that they were disgusting. <laughs> and the new one was just like hmm, so bright and vibrant. And I think I pulled that one out of the bins. But it just goes to show you that people are looking for things. And it's nice that we as resellers can bring these things to people. So anyway, the funny thing is I sold this ornament. It's a precious moments ornament, baby's first Christmas from 1995. I sold it for 3240, I'm um, sorry, 3224 plus shipping. And again, it's not my biggest bolo, but because it was kind of relevant and somebody had recently asked me, I went ahead and showed this. But would you not believe it? I was at the Goodwill Benz and I found the exact same ornament exact. I'm almost certain it's exact. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So I have another one to list. I got to find it. It's somewhere in a bag. But yeah, I'll just hit sell similar and I'll be good to go. Not on Facebook. So I'm sharing these for her. Uh, Yard Sales and Dreams has been a long time member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and she does not have a Facebook account. So I told her I would post them for her. So this is Yard Sales and Dreams on YouTube. Definitely go and sub her up. But she did it real nice for me. She put everything in the little photo. So it's ready to go. I'm just going to read it to you and pop up, pop it up. Paid a dollar at a garage sale for this vintage Bengals hat. It has a unique strap. The Bengals are doing well the past two years. Heading to the playoffs again this year. I have no idea about any sports. So vintage Bengals apparel have increased in value. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, sold it on eBay for full asking price of $99. Here's her next one. This antique stop sign, oh, I was like, that doesn't make sense, but I was just reading it wrong. This antique stop sign base was purchased at a yard sale for 50 cents, sold on eBay with best offer for $200, 50 cents into $200. Wow. Buyer drove from Indiana to Kentucky to pick it up. It's a rare antique vintage original stop sign base. Wow. 50 cents. Wow, that is so cool. Bought this CP doll, Cabbage Patch doll, for 20 at an indoor yard sale. Sold on eBay auction for $177.50. I ran an auction because I wasn't sure how high it would sell. It is Jessmar Spain, Cabbage Patch, Kid Girl, Red Hair, Green Eyes. Being made in Spain made it more desirable. All right, this one comes from Flippin' Hot Finds, and here is her eBay store. She said, purchased at my local thrift store for three bucks, sold 
on an offer for 60. I could have held out for more. I just wanted to move inventory fast as I had a large amount of inventory to store. It is a Maler Malerba. Oh boy. Defeat. This is what defeat looks like. Malerba Ceteres Boutique. Probably said that totally wrong. Uh, custom and embellished. 60 bucks. All right, the Bulldog Shop. This is her eBay store. And wait until you see this big money bolo. <gasps> Biggest sale in my five years as a reseller. A neighbor was moving into a retirement center and I have been selling his books and pottery collection on consignment. When picking those up, I noticed this kit literally in the trash pile. I said, I thought it might be valuable and asked if I could sell it on consignment. Had a 10 day auction on eBay starting at 500, sold for 2,000. $124 with shipping and tax sales tax buyer was all in for 2,379 and left positive feedback within hours of receiving it. What a relief owner and I profited 900 each. It was in the trash. How thankful do you think that person is? Wow. That is awesome. And great. eye. okay, here's another one from the bulldog shop. I purchased 20 boxes of old books on an online a state auction for $415. I donated the dud books to the Goodwill and kept the hundred books that were worth selling. So I spent about $4 per book, uh, $4 for this book. Research price on worth point sold on Etsy for 350 plus shipping. It's Edgar Allan Poe, Tales of Mystery and Imagination, 1919 suede leather antique book. That is fantastic. All right, I purchased this doll and 12, this is also the Bulldog Shop. I purchased this doll and 12 other similar ones at an online estate auction for 35 each. Researched them on WorthPoint before buying. I like buying batches of the same kind of items. Makes listing and shipping easier. Sold on eBay for a best offer of 175. It is a vintage Lindsay Anato An Ant ah, Antonia, Antonia, I don't know. Uh, felt doll, 20 inches, pink dress, Italy, hand painted. And that's what she looks like. All right. This comes from Lola's Trunk Treasures, who also gifted me this awesome owl necklace. It's Trifari, you guys. It's crown Trifari. How cool is that? She bought it for me from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube auction. And I just love it, love it, love it. And it's an owl. If you can't tell, it's an owl and I love owls. So thank you, Laura. I appreciate it so much. But this is Laura's Bolo, Lola's Trunk Treasures on eBay. Purchased for $5 at a local thrift store, sold for $94.99 and buyer used 20% off uh, $50 coupon. So final sale price was $75.99 after tax and shipping. They were all in for $90.89. It is a vintage Bucilla felt applique Christmas tree skirt. Definitely a bolo. Here's another one from Lola's Trunk Treasures. Purchased complete set of Elise Dinsmore books. 28 books total. All the same time. Goodwill. Rare to find a complete set all at the same time. And I actually did this two times this month. Paid 51 for the set and sold in a matter of days for 160 Buyer used 20% off 50 cute. 20% off 50 coupons. So final sale was 128 after tax and shipping. Buyer was all in for 149.43. And this is her next one. Purchased 20 vintage Vogue patterns for 25 cents each at an estate sale in November. I took a best offer for this one for 79.99. It's a Vogue pattern, you guys. This one comes from AEG's Estate Treasures. And this is her eBay store. She said, pick these up as part of an estate clean out. Got a dollar into each of them and took a best offer of 35 plus shipping. They are 1993 Military Mountain Men, Mighty Heroes, Land Blitz and Night Shark. Sorry, it's really small, hard to see, but that's what it looks like. Oh, this next one. Paid $1.50 at a local thrift store and sold for full asking price of $53 plus shipping. This is also AEG's Estate Treasures. And she does estate cleanouts and she's hoping to get um, reseller boxes in her eBay store. So make sure you're following her. This says Betty Spaghetti Doll and Accessories. Yes, I have sold Betty Spaghetti. Definitely a bolo right here.
found at the Goodwill for $5, listed for $98, and accepted an offer of $82. Buyer paid shipping. This one comes from eBay store Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. And she has an incredible eBay store with like just, I don't know how she finds these things. I say it every time, but her store is just different and unique. You've got to go check it out because, you know, you go into eBay stores like mine and there's just a little bit of everything. I mean, everything. This store is all so like, how on earth did she find so much cool stuff? Anyway, this is a Leo Smith Midwest Flying Angel retired. 98 bucks she sold that for. Bought this donkey at an estate sale for $8, listed it for $73, accepted a best offer of $50. It's a vintage donkey, handmade wood paper mache horse. And it says, horse hair donkey figure Mexico. <laughs> I mean, she just finds cool stuff. Found these Disney 12 Days of Christmas plates. There were four. Had another one, had sold another one to a buyer and she came back and bought these. Found at the Goodwill for $3 a plate and got full asking price, of $85 and the buyer paid shipping. And this is what they look like. Oh, and she said the angel she got at the Goodwill for $5. I forgot to say that. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments which bolo was your favorite. Um, if you're not in my Facebook group, this is what it looks like. Go and join and you can share a bolo. You do not have to be a YouTube member to share a bolo. I will share your bolo no matter what if you post in the comments. Um, if you are a member, level two, you are going to get a mention and I'm going to pop up a screen share of either your eBay store or your YouTube channel. And I'm also going to link you down in the description of the video as your perk. Um, level two is $4.99 a month. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for being here. No pressure to join memberships. Absolutely none whatsoever. Um, if you would like to share a January Bolo, definitely go do that. That post is up and looks like this. Um, Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Have a great night.